You ask how come I call my old mule Ruth, when in fact the solemn truth is that he's a Jack and not no Jenny, that's for sure. Well, there's no call for you to know, but since you ask, I'll tell you so. Just settle back and heed to what I say. It started in 1861, the war, well, it had just begun to be a war. I wasn't much, so to speak, a mule skinner, not one to seek fame or fortune, especially in no war. Now every man's got a pride, most times it's deep inside about his job, and mine was attending mules. My favorite was a long-eared Jenny. Now, I reckon you'll think that I'm a ninny, cause I loved her just like I'd love my mother. She was faithful, stout, and she was smart, and friend, she had lots of heart. If she'd have been a man, I'd have loved her like a brother. Well, we'd fought back with all we had, but still the war was a going bad, for in 64, Schofield hit us Tennessee boys hard. And just 30 miles away at dawn near Spring Hill on an early morn, five generals that wore Confederate gray had chitlins and bacon and eggs and grits. Lord, they'd planned to give them fits, but the tide of war just went the other way. The five brave men that led Hood's charge was met by artillery barrage that mowed them down just like so much hay. Now somebody had to get them men and by golly I can't remember when I've ever been so proud as I was that day. Just take old Ruth, the captain said, and when it got dark I slowly led my Jenny to the Harpeth River's bank. I found them young boys in gray, and when on roost back they stiffly lay, I started back, but then my spirit sort of sank. A dad blamed sentry opened far, and them Yankees did conspire to add me to their list of casualties. Low Ruth, she just plowed along, not a listening to the bullet song, just brushed them off like they was a swarm of bees. Somehow we got back that night, and I thank God I was all right. I'd brought them boys from where they was a-laying. I hadn't even got a scratch, so I lit my pipe, and when the match flared up, I seen old Ruth was just a-swaying. Blood was running down her side. My throat choked up, and then I cried, and she looked at me, and her eyes was soft and brown. She seemed to say, now don't cry for me, we had a job to do, you see. And then old Ruth just seemed to slide right down. There's a marker I put on her grave that reads, Here lies a mule who gave her life, and that's the truth. Now every mule I'll ever own will bear your name, so be it known, while I'm alive, they'll always be a Ruth. Yeah, they'll always be a Ruth.